guys, it's Jackie. We've all had our blood pressure taken at one point or another, but what do those numbers mean? And what are the implications for our health? I'm here with Dr. Robert Martin, who's gonna break it all down for us. So Dr. Martin, let's start real simple. What does blood pressure actually mean? What does that term mean? So blood pressure refers to the pressure that's put against the walls of the artery in the body. And the arteries, of course, are the blood vessels that distribute oxygen to the body. And when you take someone's blood pressure, you can tell a lot about what's going on inside their body. Mostly it's about risk factors. So people with high blood pressure are at increased risk for a lot of serious health problems, including heart disease, diabetes, heart failure, kidney disease, and stroke. We estimate that there are about 75 million adults in the United States with high blood pressure, according to the um, Centers for Disease Control. The things that we eat can also affect our blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, you can maybe make some dietary adjustments. Absolutely. So the two things that come to mind right away are salt and alcohol. So no more than two alcoholic drinks uh, per day for an adult man, and no more than one per day for an adult woman. Americans generally eat a very high sodium diet, and we know that salt can um, increase your blood pressure. Now, usually when you get your blood pressure taken, you're given two numbers. What do each of those numbers mean? Sure, so the top number is called the systolic, and that number refers to the pressure in that artery when the heart has contracted. Okay. And the bottom number is called the diastolic, which is the pressure in the artery in between heartbeats. Generally speaking, a normal number is still considered 120 over 80. When people come in to get their blood pressure taken, they can be a little bit nervous, both about the process and then also getting the results. What do you tell them? It's really common for patients to be nervous, um, generally speaking, when they come to the doctor, uh, particularly if they haven't been to the doctor in quite a while. And I think patients also get nervous about um, being diagnosed with a chronic condition. So I think it's so important to um, reduce risk factors and control your high blood pressure um, so we can prevent other serious problems in the future. And if your doctor is not mentioning to you um, what your blood pressure number is, um, you should ask that person, um, how's my blood pressure today? Okay, well after all this discussion, I think it's important for me to get my blood pressure checked while I'm here. Great, let's check okay. it out. So we're ready to begin. What happens first? Okay, so the most important thing before you take the blood pressure um, is to have avoided caffeinated drinks in the previous hour. When you're taking the blood pressure, ideally you have your feet on the floor and your back supported in a chair and you're resting for three to five minutes before the reading. Um, the next thing we do is we grab the blood pressure cuff here. The cuffs always have a marker that goes over your artery and that basically goes over the middle of the arm right here in front of the elbow. And the next thing we'll do is just inflate the cuff. It's gonna get a little tight, but it won't yeah. hurt, okay? Yeah, I feel like getting tighter, but it doesn't hurt, it's just some pressure. We're gonna slowly release the air out of the cuff. So we're listening for that first sound which is the sound of the blood coming through as the pressure is released. Great, did I do okay? You must really like your job because your <laughs> blood pressure is so good. It's oh, um, 102 thank over you. 60. Good to know. And see, I was I was worried going into it, like everybody is, and it really wasn't that bad at all, and everything's fine. Yeah, it's really not that scary to have your blood pressure taken, and it is so important to know what the number is um, so you can protect yourself and protect your future. Thank you so much, doctor. And to learn more about other medical procedures, head to our website, livinghealthytv.com.